Hello everyone, Bobcat here. <coughs> As I've uh, been thinking, it's been a while since I've uh, made any updates on my channel, and uh, particularly regarding uh, Caitlin Nicole Davis community. Uh, a few things have been kind of mine for a few days now. Uh, been uh, procrastinating as I always do on making a video and uh, well maybe not always sometimes I've been on the ball quicker but usually I procrastinate and start thinking on things and it takes me several days before I say okay I'm, I'm gonna get it out of the way now um, it's uh, our, our priorities and behaviors when I see so many people over the years you know it's just been a few years but over the years I've come and gone New faces coming in, some of the old people have gone out, of, out now. Uh, uh, there's been so much conflict, uh, it, it's annoying uh, when all these voices have agreed that the things that Caitlin has seen in her life, uh, the conflicts that happened around her family and, and stuff like that, that she wanted people to get along and, and love, stuff like that, and she didn't find that herself, so she chose to end her life. I mean, she chose to end her life for many reasons, but that's one of the elements that has caused this. Uh, she saw nothing but uh, abuse and neglect and hatred of uh, people not getting along, fighting, ar arguing, bullying. Uh, she didn't like being in school because of the way uh, the other kids treated her. And, and kids really can be monsters, and that is true. Uh, and all these voices, all these people that I've been in contact with, knowing that it's not everybody, so I don't think I'm pointing fingers at any individual. Uh, but. Some of the people can behave the same way. You know, there's other talk about Caitlin being treated that way and things she's seen. The reason she's gone is by seeing that, yet they'll do this stuff themselves. There's people whose life is dramatic and it stays dramatic and has a lot to do with their own attitudes. It's not that other people cannot cause you problems. That is true. But, I mean, I'm a prime example. I come from an area where there's a lot of, of uh, drama happening and everything. And those come from other people uh, stuff like that. And we move the hell out of there. And our lives are much more peaceful now. And uh, I have bad days. Sometimes I get mad about stuff and I mouth off things I shouldn't mouth off. I'm, I'm guilty, I'm guilty, guilty, guilty of being somebody that gets mad and says, I don't care, the hell of the world, uh, self criticism, criticism I, I, I get upset, I lose it, and I do that kind of thing. And then I always go back later and I you know, ignore me. I just get mad and I get loud and stupid. I don't mean it. No, that's the way I am. Some people don't not seem to be like that. They seem like they are more dramatic. They live for drama. Every day's drama, and they're they're the narcissist. Uh, you no, know, it's, it's something I heard a long time ago. You know, just think when you when you point your finger at somebody else, you have three point right back at you. And I know that sometimes other people are the problem, but a lot of times it's their own self. Uh, when you're constantly seeking drama, when your mind is so focused on bad things, you constantly find it, constantly seek it. And it's not that we all don't have bad days like that, but we need to improve ourselves. If your every day is dramatic, and you start taking a look in the mirror and see what you can do to improve yourself. And uh, some of you out there are, are purposely going out of way, and you think you just want to create a conflict with everybody in the community. Uh, and, uh, I'm not going to say any names, but I mean, there's, there's one individual that's coming I thought was a better person, but my God, I'm glad I got. And through the whole thing, I have very, very, very little contact with this person. Man, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And uh, anybody want to know, I'm not talking about a certain uh, person in London either. So I'm not talking about that individual. I'm talking about somebody else. And, uh, and, and they just, uh, which I have very few words, and that wasn't even in, I didn't share a group with this person or anything else. I just had a, uh, contact uh, through my channel, so and that's it. But it seems like this person's uh, involved with others in the community, and I mean, it seems like it's drama, I mean, just fighting bigger. I mean, people, and you say yourself that this is you no know, kind of stuff that Caitlin's seen, and part of the reason she's gone, yet you do it yourself. I mean, your life's constantly drama, you're abusive, you're, you're bullying, you're hatred, and it's, you need to chill out and stop. It's we got to get our priorities straight. We are adults and everything, we sit there and, and complain about the way they behave down there where Kevin's from, but we're, we're, we've all some at some point been involved in some kind of drama ourselves, the same type of stuff that we whine about the Kevin scene. And that's the absolute fact. And I know who's truly trying and who's not. Uh, I know I know what I'm saying, I know who's right and I know who's wrong. 
and I know when others have been down, I know who reached out to others and tried to be loving and stuff like that, and I know who shit on the other ones whenever something would go wrong and everything else. I know. I'm not forgot. I've seen who's reached out and who hasn't. Y'all ain't fooling nobody. You think you are, but you don't. You don't. I'm not saying names, but I know. There's something else that gets on my nerves. And year 2020, it's been bad for everybody. They got the pandemic going on. You got the mask wearing going on, which uh, I have nothing against wearing masks myself uh, as far as trying to help prevent things. But there's a proper mask and there's an improper mask. When you look at the back of the box, they tell you these masks don't work. It will not prevent COVID-19. If you see on the mask, they even say may cause death. You know, that kind of tells you some things about selling the masks. And there are good masks out there that do work appropriately. I'm not going to knock that. I'm not going to knock that. Not so ever. But here's the other problem that I've got. Evil people will take advantage, and I'm sorry for the politics for a minute, just getting this out of the way. Evil people take advantage of pandemic stuff like that, and they will use it to their advantage. We have a terrible time right now with pedophilia. It's been exposed like hell throughout politics. If you don't believe it, you're just stupid because the proof is out there. You're just biased and don't want to hear it. That's all there is to it. And uh, it's hard to identify missing children when you can't see their faces or if, if you can't see, you know, the possibility of, of a stressed kid in a busy place because of mask on their face, you can't see tears, you can't see their mouths, stuff like that. you can't see that they look distressed. Uh, people are taking advantage of this, and that seems to have a lot to do with the implementations of using masks, using the pandemic to feed the wicked. Kenneth Nicole Davis was highly against this stuff. Uh, she herself has faced abuses of, predat of uh, predators trying to, you know, no, I don't want to say it. No, I'll say it. Predators trying to abuse her in certain ways, and uh, some say that it was an attempt. Others says that the kids were molested. I don't know. It, it's a bicker there. I wasn't there, so I don't know. I don't gonna pretend to know. Uh, some of the behaviors I've seen makes me think that there's more going on than just an attempt. But uh, Kate almost highly against this, <clears throat> and. Uh, if she was here right now, I don't know what all she would know, what she would see, what she wouldn't. What I do know is, as I guarantee you, I know one person that wouldn't get elected president if she knows all the details, stuff like that. Too many times in this community and stuff, you know, people I know, uh, they, they spend their time focused on these bad things. They want to talk about these predators and stuff like that. They want to mention Anthony, things he's done. Um, and it's pure, you know, it's pure hatred, uh, which I'm not going to knock that because I think these needs uh, uh, the appropriate punishments also. But when you keep your priorities, you know, not in contact with stuff, you seem to venture off on what you formerly said, you know, the areas, the, the picking and choosing one day is, you know, you can't, you found a connection with Caitlin, so you want to criticize Anthony, but other times, you know, with the same type of person, also you want to ignore for some reason, including politics, your priorities are fucked up. Uh, you are double-minded. Uh, you're not true to your beliefs. You're a liar. Yeah, it's either right or wrong. It's wrong, obviously. But when you're when you're selecting when these rules apply, when they don't, okay, you got your priorities way out of line. You're no good yourself. You are part of the problem. And I guarantee you that if Caitlin was here right now, voting 2020, or knows able to be vocal about things like that. I know one son of a bitch that would not be uh, in the office nowhere near right now that she would be totally against. And I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to show you a pedophile that has a possibility of becoming president of the United States in the election of 2020. You can't deny this. This is absolutely true. There's no sense in this behavior right here. People are going to try to say, no, it's not true, no bullshit. It's absolutely true. Right now you got Pedo Joe and Pedo Ho. Pedo Joe and Pedo Ho. Trying to beat Donald Trump. I don't care if you like Trump or not. The issue right now is not Trump. The issue right now is you've got no choice but to vote for Trump, even if you hate the guy, because he's the better option right now. I'm going to prove it. Now. People might be like, well, use Caitlin Cole Davis for politics. So, well, technically, uh, uh, if that's the case, everybody's using Caitlin for their voice no matter what. So, you no know, stop the hypocrisy right there, too. I guarantee you, if she was here right now, she didn't want people to get their fucking priorities straight, and she'd be against, she would be against, uh, 
Joe Biden and she hates Donald Trump herself. Look at this behavior. You cannot sit there and tell me that this stuff is acceptable. The man is a pedophile. Look at that. He tried to kiss the girl. People say, oh, that's just, no, 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 no. Watch, watch this red, watch this girl with the red dress right here, watch. Where, look where he places his hands right here in a minute. Look at that, he's got no business placing his hand right there. If you don't see a problem with that right there, you are part of the problem. This is right, why I raise hell about things. Now this, this bunt, this, you know, this, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It says unbelievable, look at that. This is absolutely sick. You want about Anthony Rogers, but this okay, you're, you're thinking about voting for this motherfucker? The hell with he? Look at him. Jesus Christ, that is sick. This is, you know, this is, I'm telling you, if Caitlin Nicole Davis was here, she would be raising absolute hell about this because of things she didn't do it herself. If she seen this, and she saw it, and she knew it, even if she absolutely hated Trump, and she had a chance to vote, She's still be too young yet, but she still have the chance to vote. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, she would vote for Trump over this guy. She might not vote for either one of them. She might go vote for another party. I'm not saying she wouldn't, but I guarantee you she'd be vocal about uh, Joe Biden and anybody that would be for him. I guarantee you that. You know, this is stuff right here. And the ring is huge, y'all. Y'all don't, I mean, it's Hollywood, it's Disney, it's, it's, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And pro my problem is, you no know, people say, what about Trump? This kind of crap right here, Trump's fighting against them. Y'all hate Trump? Why? This is the kind of stuff he's he, Anthony Rogers of the world is the type of people he's fighting against. And y'all hate him. It says a lot about you. And if you hate Trump yourself, you know, and it, that's not the big a problem me as long as you <laughs> don't vote for this son of a bitch. You can hate Trump all you want to. There's a lot more information out there like that. I don't know how long this video is. It's like two minutes or something like that. But uh, I wanted to uh, get this out of the way and show you all what a real... And it, 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 you know, see, it's, it's not even no children. I mean, it, this is the way he treats women in general. And, and the simple fact that it just months ago, a few months ago, and, uh, Kamala Harris was sitting there preaching against Joe Biden. Now she's joined him. That tells you a lot about Kamala Harris. She said, I preach against the guy for this type of behavior. Now she's joined him. Yeah, she's a sellout. She ain't no good. You know why? Because you got pedo Joe and pedo ho. That's exactly why. Same daggone thing. Same damn thing. No difference. Anyway, I'm going to get that out of the way. Show you all that crap. People, you need to get your priorities straight. You need to get your priorities straight. Because to me, flip flopping. You're picking and choosing when it applies, when it don't, and who it is, and blah, blah, blah. You're either against pedophilia or you're not. And if you're gonna vote for Joe Biden, don't be blamed, don't be blaming anything else. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. If you're gonna be sitting there causing drama and being drama in your life and everything else, knowing that that's the kind of stuff that Nicole Davis saw was against and was hurting her little feelings. Stop the drama. Straighten up. Get your priorities straight. We sit there and whine about the type of people like this. The Chris drama, the pedophilia, the predators and stuff. We whine about this stuff. <laughs> get into it yourselves. I don't know what to think about you. I'm telling you. I don't know what to think. You're just, you're just, just evil. You're, you're double-minded. Your priorities are messed up. You're a hypocrite. You just associate with certain things and use it to whine about stuff. The flip-flop. The Like the atheist that wants to blame God. No, they say there's no God. Then something bad happens. Well, that's what God is. Wait a minute. But you didn't believe in God. How can you say that about God? It, it, it's stupid. That's how they think, that's what they are. They're evil. They're wishy-washy, the flip-flop, the 180, the hypocrisy, the narcissist.